Okay, so here's a nine marker from the hazard section of the A level paper. With reference to a wildfire event, evaluate the impacts of the event and the effectiveness of the responses to it. So evaluate means can you weigh up, were they good, were they bad, how severe were they, um, and its impacts and um, effectiveness of responses. And with this particular answer, it's really good. But I just want to pick out one specific thing about it, and that's some of the phrasing they use. So let's read it through, and then we'll pick out some of that really good phrasing. So wildfires usually occur in rural areas, although with the expansion of urban settlements, they can occur within the boundaries of towns and cities. Swift and timely responses to wildfires can considerably reduce their impacts. So let's just point out this word considerably. So they're not saying they reduce their impacts, they can considerably reduce their impacts, which is a nice phrasing, because you're showing you're aware of the extent to which they, they can. Despite the severity and scale of the Fort McMurray wildfire in Alberta, uh, May 2016, there are amazingly no deaths or injuries. To a large degree, this is due to close meteorological monitoring of the fire on the 2nd of May. So another phrase to pick out here, to a large degree. So they're really weighing up as they go throughout how good were these responses. So it's a really good um, phrase there. Forecasters were able to judge with accuracy the direction of the fire would take. This forecasting, along with a well-organised and prompt response from the Alberta government, meant that on the 3rd of May, a state of emergency was declared and 90,000 residents had a mandatory evacuation of the city. Um, the scale of the damage was huge, with 600,000 hectares of land destroyed. The erratic nature of the wind made it difficult for Canadian armed forces to waterbomb the fire. 2,400 homes were burned and millions of tonnes of CO2 were emitted into the atmosphere. Despite this, the costliest wildfire in Canada to date, the government's speedy action mitigated the impacts. Each adult directly affected was given $1,250 Canadian dollars, and by June 2011, residents could return. Insurance claims reached $9 billion. Without such effective response, the impacts could have been significantly worse. And just nice use here of the word significantly again. So they're saying, really evaluating, they could have been you know, significantly worse um, if it wasn't for these. Um, and one more thing to pick out about these art scots. I'm just going to circle some of the case study they've used here. So they've put the month of the Alberta wildfire. They've put some specific dates in there. So some great case study facts. And then they've really gone big on the case study facts here. So 90,000 residents, 600,000 hectares of land destroyed. Um, let's go a bit further down as well. Costliest wildfire in Canada to date. How much money was given to each of them, the cost of insurance. So this is a great nine marker for case study. And it's a great nine marker for just those evaluative phrases um, to be writing in an evaluative fashion.